आई एम बीरबल सोलंकी वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द सी एस सी डिपार्टमेंट इन द ए के जी कॉलेज टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द स्ट्रिंग इन पाइथन स्ट्रिंग इज द डेटा स्ट्रक्चर इन पाइथन और एज अ फीचर इन द पाइथन दी आर दी कंटेंट्स टू डे वी विल डिस्कस द बेसिक बेसिक्स ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग इन द पाइथन स्ट्रिंग कॉन्कटिनेशन स्ट्रिंग अपेंडिंग स्ट्रिंग मल्टीप्लाइंग स्ट्रिंग लेंथ स्ट्रिंग इंडेक्सिंग स्ट्रिंग स्लाइसिंग स्ट्रिंग मैथड्स एंड डिफ्रेंसेस फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस वट इज द स्ट्रिंग स्ट्रिंग इज द सिक्वेंस ऑफ द करेक्टर्स एंड दी इज द डेटा स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग हेयर we will discuss about the string string letters in the python are surrounded by either single quotes or double quotes or <coughs> etc uh, hello is uh, hello here hello here hello is the same uh, same as the hello it means same you can display a uh, string letters with the print function here the example uh, we will discuss uh, and uh, we uh, we want to uh, print here hello world string so simply use the print function and then <coughs> here and again print the hello world hello string same output here and we can see for this and this so we can say double quotes and single quotes are same uh, in the uh, string uh, and we want to print the hello world or hello as is now we will discuss about uh, the string concatenation uh, it is the concatenation is the method uh, uh, by which we use uh, to add the two uh, strings in single strings here <coughs> simple the string concatenation or the combined two string you can use the plus operator here hello is the one string that assign variable a and another string world assign the variable b assign the variable b or here assign hello string variable a and then concatenation of methods used to combine both strings and the operator used here plus operator so here a variable and b variable are combined the both strings and assign the both string in single variable that is c so if we want to uh, combine two strings uh, so uh, first assign uh, first string in the variable and uh, uh, another string uh, assign the second variable and both variables uh, are combined with the help of plus operator and then assign the another variable and we uh, want to combine we want to display the combined string in the single variable so single variable here right so the output of the hello and hello world we combine hello world so <coughs> this is the concatenation string and next we see the example uh hello world how can uh, we uh, combine the hello hello string is uh, uh, assign the variable a and world uh, string assign the variable b and if we want to add two string a and b here uh, if we want to uh, uh, if we want to add two string and uh, some spaces between two strings so here we write the double quotes between the variables and uh, plus operator also use here and the print c variable this is the c variable combined and the plus uh, uh, space the so the space uh, so the space here we see uh, with the help of the double quotes so here also we use to combine two strings like that now we see the next 
things. The next method of the string that is appending. Appending, uh, appending means uh, some data we want to add at the end of the strings. So, so here uh, we see or discuss what is the meaning of the appendings methods. Append means to add something at the end. In Python, you can add some things at the end of the another string using plus operator. Now see the example of the uh, appending methods. Here, hello is the string that is stored in the str variable. Now, let uh, enter the another string with the help of input function. <coughs> We want to display the message on the screen, enter your name. So, input function help to enter the name and the name is stored in the name variable and the now the string string add string add str string add name. str have hello hello string a plus operator used to combine plus name store the uh, like we want to enter the name like xyz here a uh, name uh, name is store rahul so rahul suppose rahul is stored by the user and and then string is hello rahul Hello Rahul is, is uh, stored in the string nest str nest str store the hello Rahul and then we add welcome to hello Rahul the hello hello Rahul Rahul add add welcome well come so appending like that method so the output of the str here uh, all things is to uh, print here the output of this is given here hello comma comma from this and rahul uh, string is uh, entered by the user and welcome plus operator use here to appending the value. So, here we see how can appending the data at the end of the strings. Now, here oh, multiplying method are used to multiply the strings. We can add multiply operator to repeat a string n numbers of times. Here and uh, here str is the variable that is store the hello strings and string hello is multiplied three times here str the variable that is stored the hello 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 multiply three times so hello string is multiplied three times the output of the hello hello and hello now uh, we see here the output of this the hello and hello and hello so, we want to multiply the strings many times. So, we use the multiply operator. And now see next things. Suppose we want to uh, we want to find the length of the string. So, uh, length string uh, here used in the python in the string length method. To get the uh, to get the length of a string, use the len length function. The length function return the length of a string. So now discuss the example of the length function. Suppose suppose a string hello comma world. This is the string. Now we want to find out uh, the length of the this string whole string. The all string is uh, stored in the variable a. Now we want to find out the length of the uh, uh, we want to find out the length of the uh, hello world string. So 
we uh, use the len function and the variable so the so the output of the uh, variable a here the length of the this all string is 30 <coughs> simply we uh, we want to count so easily we verify it 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 the uh, easily we uh, we can verify the length of the strings here but uh, on the uh, length of, of the string is uh, very large so we can we can't be uh, verify it so simply use the length function uh, we easily find the length of the string now discuss the next things string in indexing uh, string indexing is the method like many other people, uh, popular programming language string in python are array of bytes representing unique character however python does not have a character data types a single character in simply a string with a length of 1 a square bracket can be used to access the element of the strings now we see with the help of the example how can indexing work in the strings here hello world hello here hello world is the string that uh, all string is uh, stored in the variable a now suppose we want to uh, print the uh, some character from the this string here we want to print the string uh, some characters from this strings so here we want to print the e character from uh, all strings so suppose uh, so here we write a square bracket 1 because string is starting with indexing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. So, the indexing of E is 1. So, we write A of 1. So, print the uh, here E, the output of E is that. So, here we want to write uh, the E words from the uh, all strings. So, here we write A of I. Suppose we want to print E. Suppose we want to print the S character. So here we write like A of 0. The output of a string is character S. Or suppose we want to print the L character. So we, uh, we write the indexing A of 0 and 2. The output of this is L. So here uh, we can see the how can uh, indexing is work in the string and uh, how can uh, uh, return the string characters from the strings. <coughs> the program to demonstrate strings, demonstrate uh, string traversal using the indexing message here the example is message message the variable that is stored the hello strings and the indexing start with zero four is the for loop i is the variable in the keyword and message is here is the also a variable now we want to print the hello strings the Print message on the screen message indexing starting with 0. So, this is 0. And then i, i is a read starting with here i. The, uh, then we starting with i from the 0. And then in indexing start uh, increase by 1 at each retrieval of the for loop. So, here the message print here from starting this and the indexing starting with 0. So, the index here print 0 and the i starting with from the initial character that is as the print here as. Now, the iteration is uh, incre uh, increment by 1 i i ki value yaan pe ho jayegi, uh, 0 se 1 then i value ho gai yaan pe 0 se kya ho gaya 1 
तो वन वाली इंडेक्सिंग के लिए यहाँ पे प्रिंट होगा क्या ए और मैसेज और यहाँ पे इंडेक्सिंग वैल्यू जीरो था तो वो आपकी क्या होगी वन तो मैसेज ये वन और यहाँ पे क्या हो गया आई प्रिंट हो गया एंड देन मैसेज उसके बाद जो इंडेक्सिंग वैल्यू क्या जाएगी जीरो से टू हो जाएगी तो टू के लिए यहाँ पे आ गया उसके बाद यहाँ आई की वैल्यू क्या होगी देन इंक्रीज हो जाएगी टू तो i के लिए टू के लिए क्या हो जाएगा जीरो ये वन और ये टू टू के लिए एल प्रिंट हो जाएगा एंड थ्री के लिए अगेन टू प्रिंट हो जाएगा एंड फोर ये आपका क्या हो जाएगा जीरो प्रिंट हो जाएगा तो इस तरीके से आप क्या कर सकते हो फोर लुक की हेल्प से आप किसी स्ट्रिंग को किस तरीके से ट्रेवल्स कर सकते हैं हेयर वी कैन सी विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस एग्जाम्पल Now we discuss the uh, next things, uh, next uh, method that is string slicing. You can return a range of the character by using the slice syntax. Specify the start index and the end index separate by the colon to return a part of a string, and get the character from position two to position five, not include five. Here. We see a example how to slice method can be used in the string. Here, uh, suppose here hello world is a string that is stored in the variable b. Now we want to apply slicing in the strings, and uh, we want to display the some characters from the this strings here 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 here 2 is in starting with this character and 5 is ending point of 5 it is not include here सो so, हम क्या करने जाते हैं कि ये अपना स्ट्रिंग है इसमें स्लाइसिंग का कंसेप्ट यूज करके इसको हमें प्रिंट कराना है किसको एल फिर अगेन एल फिर ओ तो टू थ्री फोर फाइव को इसमें इंक्लूड नहीं करते हैं तो यहाँ पे कॉमा नहीं आएगा तो यहाँ पे जो इसका आउटपुट आने वाला है यहाँ से सिंगल एल यहाँ से स्टार्टिंग हो जाएगा एंड देन एल उसके बाद में ओ तो प्रिंट हो जाएगा इस तरीके से बी हियर बी कैन सी द स्लाइसिंग कंसेप्ट इन द स्ट्रिंग हाउ टू इज वर्क द स्लाइसिंग कंसेप्ट इज वर्क स्टार्टिंग द इंडेक्स एंड देन एंडिंग पॉइंट स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट एंड द एंडिंग पॉइंट दैट वी दैट वी विल वांट टू डिस्प्ले द सम कैरेक्टर्स या सम स्ट्रिंग फ्रॉम द होल स्ट्रिंग्स हियर वी राइट द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट्स एंड द एंडिंग पॉइंट स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट एंड द Ending point. So here we see the uh, example of the slicing. How to use work here? Now see the next things. I uh, now see the uh, negative indexing. How it is work here? Use negative indexing to start the slice from the end of the strings. Here, the see the example. Here, a uh, hello world is the string that is stored in the variable b. Now let's see the negative indexing. Negative indexing, how uh, it is a work. Let's see. <coughs> स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट माइनस फाइव है यहाँ पर माइनस फाइव ये आपका स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट है एंड एंडिंग पॉइंट है माइनस टू तो यहाँ पे आप माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री माइनस फोर माइनस फाइव तो माइनस फाइव यानी कि आपका स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट क्या है माइनस फाइव माइनस फाइव आपकी निगेटिव इंडेक्सिंग है तो ये आपका स्टार्टिंग कहां से होगा O से स्टार्टिंग होगा तो माइनस फाइव यहाँ पे दे दिया आपने आप इतने को क्या प्रिंट कराना चाह रहे हैं यहाँ पे इतना प्रिंट कराना चाह रहे हैं सिंपली वी वांट टू प्रिंट दी 
ओनली करेक्टर जीरो जीरो आर एंड एल द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट इज माइनस फाइव इंडेक्सिंग माइनस फाइव इज दैट जीरो करेक्ट ओ करेक्टर हियर एंड देन इज एंडिंग पॉइंट इज माइनस टू करेक्टर माइनस टू दैट इज एल बिकॉज एंडिंग पॉइंट इज नॉट इंक्लूड इन द स्लाइसिंग और इंडेक्सिंग सो हियर स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट इज जीरो एंड देन माइनस फोर इज आर एंड माइनस थ्री एल माइनस टू इज नॉट इंक्लूड इन दियर सो ऑन दी आउटपुट इज ओ आर एल सो हियर बी सी हाउ द निगेटिव इंडेक्सिंग वर्क इन दिंग now uh, discuss uh, string methods uh, other uh, string methods that is strip method python has a set of uh, built in method that you can use on string the strip method remove any white space from the beginning or the end so here we see how the strip method can be used in the strings here we see here us uh, one space here one space here and the hello word and the comma and the space here and the string and the one space here one space here and one space here one space here and one space one space at the starting point and the one space at the end point now we want to remove the uh, this space from the beginning and the end then the strip method we can use so a dot strip is method that remove the starting and the ending space from the strings here we see this is the space here at the starting point and the space at the end point and then return the return the output of that method the space is removed space is removed from here space remove at the start and end the simply we see the string uh, method what is the purpose of the uh, strip method Now see the next things. Ah, uh, the next method is lower method. Lower method return the string in lower case. Here we see the example. Hello world is the string that is stored in the variable a, and the lower method apply on the variable a. A dot lower or आपका parenthesis. The output of that the uh, hello hello world is the capital letter and the, this is the capital letter the now the we apply the lower method the all character are to change in the lower case so here we see in the example of the output s is converted into lower case or each uh, remaining part is um, already lower case the um, so that is same and the world word here the uh, first letter is capital so here we see the here w is a small cases so here we write uh, how it is work in the lower method with the help of the example ab uh, next uh, method is upper method upper method return the string in upper case is here uh, we see with the help of the example here the hello world is a, a string that is stored in the variable a now we apply the upper method on the variable a the a dot a dot upper of uh, parenthesis now the hello world string is converted into the lower uh, upper case sorry upper case here so we see how the upper case is uh, change the all string into the upper cases we see here hello is uh, all letters are in upper case and word also 
are in the upper cases. Now see the next things. Here we see uh, uh, some other methods that are used in the uh, string. Capitalize capitalize method convert the first character to upper case. Suppose suppose uh, uh, suppose a string hello hello suppose hello hello is a string now it is changed like hello okay and the next thing is count return the uh, count return the numbers of times a specified value occurs in the strings here we see with the help of the example Yes, uh, I love apple. Apple are many, uh, are my favorite too. So here text applying the count, the how many times are apple occur in the this strings. So print x here, the output is two. So two times is apple is occur in the string. So uh, some words are occur in how many times? So, so we see. <laughs> There are also next uh, uh, other methods and with written uh, returns true if a string and with the specified value and uh, find research uh, such as the string for a specified value and return the position of the where it is found. Here we see uh, the end with here in uh, the strings. And storing the text, text applied the end with, uh, end with is uh, end with the letter D. It is written true because is string is end with the D letter. So here written the true finds such matter. <coughs> hello, uh, uh, hello, welcome to my world. Text the finds welcome. तो यहां पे क्या करेंगे वेलकम किस पोजीशन पे उसकी वेलकम पोजीशन को क्या कर देता है फाइंड क्या है आपका फाइंड कर देता है कि किस पोजीशन पे आपका कोई स्पेसिफाइड लेटर है हियर वी सी नेक्स्ट मेथड्स वी यूज इन द स्ट्रिंग्स इज अल्फ इज इज ए एल n u m return true if all character in the string of alpha numeric sixth number is uh, is alpha return true if all character in the string are the alphabet and is desert return the true if all character in the string are digit is identifier return true if the if the string is in an identifier is lower return true if all character in the string are lower cases is numerical return true if all the character in the are numeric is upper return true if all the character in string are upper and the replace method uh, return a string where the specified value is written with a uh, specified values here we uh, see with the help of the example replace method here on the i like bananas uh, banana store here and uh, apply replace method on the text variable and banana replaced by the apple App, banana uh, banana in the string i like banana or banana ko hum kya kar rahe hain banana ko replace kar rahe hain apple se to jo apna output aayega isko print karenge print function ki help se to isko print karenge to yahan banana ki jagah kya ho jayega yahan pe banana ki jagah apple aa jayega to i like apple to uh, we see how the replace uh, method how it is work in the string here we see with the help of the example 